Hello, I'm Mike Casper. I'm the lead instructor and co-founder uh, here at uh, MTI DTC. We've been doing some video series on just uh, kind of some high level, entry level type stuff uh, with our stick, MIG and TIG. We've just completed our, our flat TIG. We learned how to maybe walk the cup. Uh, we learned how to freehand. Those in the flat position, again, those can be done in the, the horizontal, vertical up and overhead positions. And that walk in the cup, I told you we had some examples back here. I brought it up on the table. You kind of see how uniform and what that walk in the cup does. Um, you know, that, that's a pretty slick well. This is one of our students. I can't, I can't name him. Uh, I don't know who. I, I could name him, but I don't know who did it. But uh, anyway, very uniform, very slick weld. So this is uh, part of our pipe fitting program. It's a saddle. So anyway, I'm going to weld a T-joint together. So, you know, everything we've done, we start off running beads. We run beads in the flat, the horizontal, the vertical up, and the overhead position. Then we start putting two pieces of metal together. So we ran this flat bead on this side at 135, 140 amps. I'm probably setting at 150 amps right now, which, you know, that's, that's a lot of amperage for this small wire. And it takes a lot of heat to weld these two 3 8 pieces of carbon together. So what I have is I have a, a T-joint set up again in the technically horizontal position, but we call it flat, okay? I'll explain it again. Flat is technically like this. So my wire or my tungsten or my MIG gun is straight down in there and this is a V. That's technically flat. We weld like this. Pipe welders would say that this is the flat position. So if I was going to weld this saddle and I wanted it, it's, it's, that would be what we consider the flat position, okay? So don't, don't bust me out on that. I know flat from horizontal. It's just a habit, okay? What I'm going to do, when you stick this tungsten, excuse me, this, this TIG rig in a groove like this, you, you have an automatic tendency to walk the cup anyway. We're not technically rolling that barrel, but we're definitely getting a uniform wash back and forth on there. This will really make you feel like a really, really good welder when you do this, because basically what you're doing is you're laying your wire in this gap or this, this groove, not just a gap, the weld, and you're just rolling this thing back here like this. So it makes for a pretty weld. We can do the same weld in the flat, horizontal, vertical, overhead positions, and we can do it multiple passes. So nothing says that you're done after one pass. So, you know, as an instructor, you could keep guys busy on this for, for a long time. We could use some 14 gauge material, uh, carbon, and, and they could go at it. They would be very, very proficient at, at TIG welding after, after a couple of weeks. So it's not something that you have to be some kind of great welder to, it's just practice and, and making sure that the fundamentals are there and have them understand why they're doing what they do. And, uh, you know, we'll, we can, they, they can become very proficient. So I'm gonna set this up. We're gonna get our wire. We got our argon on. We're gonna set our cup down in between the two pieces of steel. We're gonna roll our tungsten forward. We're gonna establish that arc. And then we're gonna add the wire and we're gonna wash back and forth. So we're not technically walking the cup, but it's gonna be a very uniform wash the way we do this. All right, here we go. All right, so there it is. And I'll turn this around so you can see it. But anyway, that cup sets right in that, that groove, right in there like that, and I'm just washing up and down. I'm watching it flow up, and I'm watching it flow down. I'm watching it flow up and flow down. This is a very zen-like welding. There's no sparks, there's no ah, ah going on. Uh, and it makes you feel like a really, really good welder. So you can see the ripples in there. There's, uh, again, we'll polish it up a little bit. But for the most part, there's not a lot going on with that other than it's a weld. It's setting right down in there, it's melted, 
and it is strong like mountain. It is a very, very clean uh, process. And it, you know, like I said, we can do this process in the vertical up, the overhead, the flat, the horizontal. We can do this process and we can put as many welds over that as we want to get practice. So we can weld it on 14 gauge, we can weld it on 3 eighths, we can weld it on half. I mean, there's just endless possibilities you can get to get yourself very proficient at TIG welding. Um, obviously, the ampers changes when you start reducing the thickness of steel, when you start adding stainless and all that stuff to it. Finding the heat range is, is critical. You're trying to find the heat range to match your travel speed. Your travel speed is just how comfortable you are and how, how well and proficient you are at rolling that cup. So as soon as you get that all dialed in, it's just a matter of practice after that. So, you know, I hope these video series have given you some encouragement. I hope they maybe have, have you know, uh, enlightened you a little bit on, on what we do here. This is, like I said, same technique, vertical, overhead. Same technique when we do our MIG. Same technique when we do our stick. Machine set up, get it right, get your heat right, get comfortable, and, and start burning some rod. That is TIG. That's bringing two pieces of metal together. That's our, that's our T-joint in the flat position, we'll call it. So hopefully you've enjoyed these little snippets of videos. I hope they were uh, informative. I hope you didn't find them. Uh, you know, I like to talk a lot, so I hope, I hope I wasn't too chatty. With that said, if you have any questions about what you've seen here or, or what you got going on in your own shop, feel free to reach out to any one of our six campuses. The weld shops, we're, we're, we're going from eight in the morning until 1030 at night. Uh, so, you know, Monday through Friday. So reach out if you have any questions whatsoever. We'd love to hear from you. We're just trying to promote welding as, as a great trade, which, which it is. So we, uh, we enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed watching these and uh, thank you very much.